pain from yesterday has gone down from a level 6 out of 10 to my normal baseline of around a 3 or 4 out of 10. So I'm very thankful for that. With Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, there's always some level of pain present with me. If you want to learn about my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, just watch my blog from yesterday. I explain it, and I also show something that Harlow does to help me when my EDS is flaring. So anyways, today is infusion day, and I get infusions for my form of autonomic dysfunction or dysautonomia, and my form is called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS. And basically, my autonomic nervous system cannot regulate blood flow correctly, and it leads to symptoms like dizziness, weakness, fainting, the inability to stand for very long without passing out, <clears throat> and issues like that, plus more. So how the infusions help is it increases blood volume, it increases sodium levels, and it increases hydration. Even though I drink 2.5 liters of water a day, it's not enough for my body. So I get these infusions three times a week, and I get them through my port, which is this device implanted under my skin. I got it December 5th, so it's about a month old now. And it uh, has a catheter running to my heart, so I can get repeated sticks here, and I don't have to damage my veins with peripheral IVs. And I do all of my own care, and it's a very sterile protocol to lower risk of infection. And that's what I'm about to do right now, just to start my infusion nice and early at 8.15 in the morning. So let's magically access my port. Three, two, one, boom. Ta-da! I am accessed and infusing. I infuse on the go because I have an ambulatory infusion pump. And then this is my infusion bag. It's inside a pouch that was made for me custom by the Etsy shop So Very Foxy. You should check them out. They're awesome. And I just put those two things inside my infusion backpack, which is just a Vera Bradley backpack I got half off at an outlet and I can infuse on the go wherever I want to go even outside of the house which is super convenient because my infusions last eight hours they have to last a long time because my autonomic nervous system cannot handle a quick influx of uh, fluids so that's why it has to be done slowly and I used to be stuck to an IV pole that long before I got my port but now I have my port I'm in charge of all my own care I can infuse on the go and it's great I might have mentioned it before this is not a cure-all by any means I'm still disabled by my POTS, but this treatment has added the most to my quality of life. So now I'm happily going to go feed Harlow and get myself some breakfast. Har gets Taste of the Wild salmon formula because she actually has a mild allergy to other types of meats, so everything she gets is salmon based. And she gets coconut oil in her meals because it's good for her skin and coat. Plus she eats out of a slow feeder because she's a golden and will just devour everything whole. Harlow back! Get back! Get back! Harlow spin! Harlow spin! Sit. Hello. Play. Play. Okay. Smart dog. So I always eat cornflakes. I love cornflakes. Judd says it's a boring cereal, but I love it. However, my friend uh, left her cereal here a while ago, chocolate checks, and it just seemed really appealing. So I'm going to eat that today, and it is really tasty. Love chocolate. Well, I started my infusion, I fed the dog, fed myself. Now it's time to start on some homework. So thank you, Hardo. I'm gonna go do that. So I finished a chapter of conceptual physics homework, which was not fun, by the way. And now I'm doing medical terminology and I've gotten through four chapters and I'm doing the first self-assessment. And I think I might have an advantage here because they're asking about EEGs, EKGs, MRIs, X-rays, EMGs and all of this testing that I've had done so I already know what it means. So uh, it's going really well. I actually have an A on the first self-assessment which is great. Not that the grade even matters. Actually my final grade in this class will be completely based off the final exam. That's the only thing that goes towards your grade but it's good to know I'm doing well so that's awesome. Alrighty so I did a chapter in conceptual physics, a chapter in medical terminology, did great on the first self-assessment there and now I'm taking a break for lunch. I'm having leftover shepherd's pie and I added some cheese to it because I love cheese uh, and uh, then I'm gonna do one more assignment for my research methods class and I'm done with homework for the day. Then I'm gonna try cleaning upstairs and I have to make a run to the Goodwill drop-off to drop off some clothes. Well I finished my homework and now Harlow's happy because we're gonna do some training. Come here. Harlow finish. Good girl! Harlow side. Good girl! Finish. Good girl! With me. Good. Closer. Back. Closer. Back, back, back. Good girl. With me. Back. Good girl. Harlow center. Good. Harlow side. Good. Closer. 
closer. Good girl. Center. Hug center. Very good. Ahead. Back. Harlow finish. Good. Here. Harlow front. Stay there. Namaste. Okay, good girl. Good girl, hello. You so good, Papa. Oh my good girl. Harlow, take it. Hold it. Good girl. Harlow, take it. Hold it. Harlow, hold it. Finish. Don't let go. Hold it. Finish. Hold it. Good girl. You did it. Good girl. Good girl. So, um, Harlow, down. I didn't film our whole training session, but just uh, now Harlow stopped uh, listening to my commands and she started nose booping me, where she just boops me with her nose and I couldn't tell what was wrong because I didn't feel like I was going to faint or anything and then I looked in my little mirror I have down here to access myself with my port and my face is starting to break out in the rash I get um, with my allergic reactions. Thanks. So, um, what I do right away is I take 50 milligrams of Benadryl. And yeah, it does make me drowsy, but it's better than letting it get to anaphylaxis. I don't know if you can tell, but right here is red, and right here, and those are the typical spots I get. It's starting to get hot and burning. Um, my rashes when I start an allergic reaction. And I had one a few nights ago, and I took Benadryl right away, and it stopped it. And Harlow's concerned. She always listens to my commands, but she doesn't when she's concerned. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell because this isn't a great camera, but um, it's right here. So I just stopped training, listened to my service dog, took the Benadryl, and uh, I have my EpiPen really close by. Obviously, I don't want to use it. Um, my throat feels fine, so I'm just going to give it a few, see what the Benadryl does. I'm actually shaking just because I'm nervous. Um, I get really scared when anaphylaxis becomes a possibility. I should text Judd now and let him know. Uh, yeah, just not gonna freak myself out. Last time the Benadryl took care of this, so I'll be fine. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since I took the Benadryl. Unfortunately, it's not working, but I just wanted to show y'all what Harlow's doing here. She's just concerned, which, when she's concerned like that, it makes me concerned. Um, in contact with Judd, I'm starting to get the rash here, which is what always happened before anaphylaxis at the hospital. And Okay, my chest is starting to get tight. Um, sorry, this is where I leave y'all and stop filming. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and do a breathing treatment and just pray that this doesn't turn into anaphylaxis. Well, unfortunately, things took a turn for the worst, as you can clearly see, but God is looking after me. I had an anaphylactic reaction around 1 p.m. Ambulance came, took me to the hospital, they fixed me up, and even though I had this gut feeling that I needed to stay, because my episodes usually reoccur shortly after, I went home because I had a horrible experience with the ambulance, which I'll explain most likely tomorrow. I'm just not feeling well enough to do so now, and I just wanted to get home, so I went home, and then... A few hours later, I had an even more severe allergic reaction, and I used both EpiPens, because if y'all didn't know, I happened to find one a few days ago in my school backpack, so now I'm completely out of EpiPens. The hospital said they'll hook me up with one, though, um, and I'm here now with rashes and just episodes where I couldn't breathe because my throat swelled shut and IV medications and things like that, so they are admitting me. And I will be here for at least tonight. If I don't have any incidents, I can go home tomorrow, I hope. But that didn't go well last time. I was here for nine days of recurrent anaphylaxis. So Ellie, the elephant, and I have made it from the emergency room up to our admittance room. Judd has gone home to be with Harlow. And tomorrow he does have the police academy, which I am very adamant about him going to. I don't want him to miss hours and hours in a full day of school just because I'm in the hospital. I've got great nurses here taking care of me. Actually, one of my nurses is the wife of one of his classmates at the academy, which is pretty awesome. So anyways, 
I am not feeling great, so I can't really go into detail with everything today, but I promise tomorrow, after a good night's rest, I will tell you all about my first anaphylactic reaction, the terrible ambulance ride, the second one, and how things are looking here. I'm hoping I can get through the night without any episodes, but they tend to occur at night, and if this plays out anything like my last hospital admitted for uh, anaphylaxis, I'm just praying it's not. God definitely looked over me and helped me find that extra EpiPen a few days ago because I used both of them today. Wow, God is good. So anyways, I just wanted to leave y'all off on a positive note that right now I'm stable and I'm praying I'll make it through the night stable. So that was it for our unwanted and surprising adventure today. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, actually, the one thing I know mostly everybody is wondering that I will answer right now is what are you allergic to and why do you have anaphylaxis? Well, we don't know yet. We don't know what I'm reacting to. I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary. Even the cereal I have like once a week, so it's not that. So yeah, that is it. We don't know what I have. Could be possible mast cell or random anaphylaxis, but I'm going to bed now. So thanks for joining me.